brothers and sisters, remember as well that this whole life, according to our religion, is a life of tests and trials. And therefore, every one of us will be tested and tried in different ways. But all of us are tested and tried. And the one major mechanism to overcome and pass those tests and trials is what? It is patience. And that is why Allah says, وَاسْتَعِينُوا بِالصَّبْرِ وَالصَّلَاةِ وَإِنَّهَا لَكَبِيرَةٌ إِلَّا عَلَى الْخَاشِعِينَ Seek Allah's help when you face the calamities, when you have any problems. Seek Allah's help. وَاسْتَعِينُوا Life is difficult. You need help. What help are you going to get? Allah mentions two things. وَاسْتَعِينُوا بِالصَّبْرِ وَالصَّلَاةِ Seek help through sabr, patience, and through salah, prayer. Our mother Aisha said, whenever our Prophet was troubled with anything, whenever something bothered him, what would he do? Fazi'a ila salah. He would rush to stand in salah. Salah would make him calm. Salah would make him conquer those problems, those fears, those frustrations. So patience and salah are the two things that Allah has told us to seek help in. And also realize, my dear brothers and sisters, that beautiful verse in the Quran that Allah tells us, Fasbir sabran jameela. Be patient, a beautiful patience. So patience is of levels. And the highest level is a beautiful patience. And a beautiful patience is one when people don't even realize you're being patient. Nobody knows other than Allah that you're being patient. That is the perfection of patience. Nobody can see you're frustrated. Nobody can see you're agitated. Nobody can see that you're feeling anger. You have mastered it so much that only Allah knows. And that is the perfection which Allah says, Fasbir sabran jamila. Perfect your patience until it is a perfect and beautiful patience. And the final hadith that I'll remind myself and all of you is that how does one achieve patience, my dear brothers and sisters? Well, there's no easy mechanism fasting is one of them to perfect our fast but the main mechanism of achieving patience is to want patience from Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala to be eager to be patient to be greedy to be blessed with patience and this we learn from the beautiful hadith of Sahih Bukhari and it's such a simple such a profound hadith it's a hadith that I want us to memorize so that we are prepared for when a calamity strikes us وَمَنْ يَتَصَبَّرْ يُصَبِّرْهُ اللَّهِ وَمَنْ يَتَصَبَّرْ يُصَبِّرْهُ اللَّهِ Whoever desires to be patient. يَتَصَبَّرْ He actively wants to be patient. يُصَبِّرْهُ اللَّهِ Allah Azza wa Jal will give him the patience he requires. What a beautiful hadith. There is no magic trick. There is no mechanism other than wanting to be patient. وَمَنْ يَتَصَبَّرْ when the calamity happens, you realize, you know what? I need to be patient. Oh Allah, help me to be patient. وَمَنْ يَتَصَبَّرْ Whoever wants that sabr, يُصَبِّرْهُ Allah. Allah will give him that sabr that he or she needs and requires. It's that simple, my dear brothers and sisters. You want to be patient? Then demonstrate to Allah, show to Allah, have that desire. And guess what? Allah has promised. You want that patience, you will get it. And Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala tells us in the Quran, وَلِرَبِّكَ فَاصْبِرْ if you are patient for your Lord, وَلِرَبِّكَ فَاصْبِرْ Then you will get it. And this is, by the way, of the first commandments that was given directly to our Prophet ﷺ by Allah. Of the first commandments. Surah Al-Muddathir. The first commandments that came down. Ya أَيُّهَا الْمُدَّثِّرِ Of the first commandments, Allah tells our Prophet ﷺ, وَلِرَبِّكَ فَاصْبِرْ Directly to him, singular. Allah is speaking directly to him. Be patient for the sake of your Lord for the rest of your life ahead. This is the advice I give myself and all of you. We need to make sure and realize that patience comes from Allah as sabur You want to have sabr? Believe in as sabur Make dua to as sabur Ask Allah for that patience and realize that Allah Azza wa Jal loves you and cares about you even more than your mother as our Prophet Sallallahu Alaihi Wasallam said. Whatever happens, happens for our best even if we don't understand it. Let us try to master this beautiful concept because because in reality, Iman and Sabr are linked together. The one that has Iman has Sabr. The one that has no Sabr has not perfected Iman. Allahumma inni da'in fa'aminu.